my quest is to find better ways of treating patients. And our main focus is to look for an effective cure for cancer. I uh, was born in Malaysia. There were people who laughed at me, said, how can be a doctor look at your hands, they're rough working in the plantations. So I held on to that dream and I carried on. I think that if we believe in something, we should just keep going and have that deep conviction that we will be proved right. Sui is an extraordinary person. It's this vision, it's a view that medicine and science uh, can make a huge difference to the quality of people's lives and thinking differently about conventional medicine. It is only if you sidestep everything that you've been doing for a hundred years, try some other way that you're going to achieve that paradigm shift. Sui is truly inspiring, able to motivate others in a, in a quite a unique, humble way. He's showing me that really you can do anything. One night on TV I saw something about Sui and how He's trying to set up an institute to help cure cancer and I wanted to help him so over 18 months I've been writing all about Sui and his story. We've sold about 1500 books and raised about $10,000 for him. Our work had been repeatedly rejected by the science and medical community because it is out of the left field. It, it doesn't fit in the things that we understood for the last hundred years. So it must be wrong. But we have that deep conviction that we are right and we will keep carry on and we will find more proof that we are right. Now our concept is now accepted generally by the science community internationally that we are right. And people that were skeptics now quote our work. If we believe in something, we can make it happen. I believe that our team will find a cure for cancer. New Zealanders really need to get behind this kind of person, behind Sweet, and support him every inch of the way. I have been very fortunate to be given all the opportunities I can hope for. Having come to this country and be given the opportunity, and to have people that are colour blind, and they gave me a hand to be given this privilege to be in this field. I couldn't have done that myself. The New Zealand spirit is also a spirit of self-belief. We are tiny dots in the world, but see what's happened, you know, the Lord of the Rings. To believe that we can do it here, and we can do it ourselves. Follow your dreams. Got to follow your dreams.